Hey guys, this is Mohammed Chamar and welcome to my new Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I am gonna teach you how to insert data from your Java project to your Access database. So stay tuned. So welcome back, guys. So let's start with making a form. Um, JPRM form. I will name it insert form. Okay, insert form. Insert form. So we have a form here. Okay. Now let's add two labels. One here. Let's name it user and the other label as password. Okay. Let's get it. And let's take one text field. And change its variable name to user. Let's and one password field. And change its variable name to pass. Okay. We also have to need a button. And let's name it insert. Okay. So now we have created a form here. So now we wanted to save the data when the user press enter button. So double click on enter. And here we have to code for button. So I will declare two string variable user name and password. And password. Okay. So, user name equal to the name of our variable name of our first text field was user. So, we will copy it and we'll go back here and we will paste it here. Okay. So, now we have a dot and we will use this function get text. So, what this function will do, it will get the data when user entered in this field on this button click and save it in this username variable okay so we'll do same for the password password so what was the name of our field it was pass okay so pass dot get text get text okay so now we have to make a function in our connection to db class and and we will place the SQL insert query inside that function. So now we don't need a main because we have a main in our form. So I will delete it. Okay. So my new method will be public. I will name it type boolean to so be boolean type and the name of the <coughs> function will be add new user. Okay. So I will to, uh, take two arguments, string arguments. One would be user, and the second would be password. Okay. Now let's start coding inside it. I will declare a string variable status, which would be sorry, not a string boolean type variable. Boolean type variable status. Which would be false at the time. Okay. Now we will create a try and catch block. So I forgot to tell you the that why we use try and catch block in my last video. So I will tell you now. Try block used in Java is used to enclose the data 
which could throw a exception. It must be used within the method. And this try block should be followed by a catch or a finally block. We will learn about the finally block later. So, exception E. Let's print the exception if there would be exception. System dot out dot print error E. Okay. So if it would catch any exception, it would show us on the output screen. So now let's make a connection here. Connection. Connection is a built in class I have told you in the last uh, tutorial. Connection con equal to new connection. So it is the name of our method which we have made here, which uh, is connecting the, our Java project with the database. Okay, so we are making an object from that method. Now we will use, now we will do the same thing that we had done in the new connection uh, method. Statement st equal to new oh sorry con dot create statement creating a statement here okay now we will write the insert query then uh, SQL insert query I will save it in a string variable name this query if the query is insert insert into the name of your table uh, for that I have to make another table in my uh, sorry for the interruption so now we will make another table in our access database here we will add another table Go to create table. So this is my table two. I will make design view table two. So I will add two fields: username and password. Okay. So now I have two fields: username. And password I will save it here now all the data I will insert will be saved here okay so now I will name it table 2 now I have to give the fields of table 2 in which I have to insert okay Here, my first field was username. It should be typed the same as the name of a field username and password. Okay, so these were two fields in which I have to input. Now, the values which I have to insert for that, I will make two brackets, then single quotation then double quotation then another double quotation and then a single quotation and i will add two plus and inside it i will write the argument okay the user and comma same for the password so i will copy it control c and control v here is the back. Okay. So this is our theory. So what this theory will do? It will insert the two arguments that the user will insert in our insert form here. It will insert in the fields username and password fields of our database. Okay. So now I will make a variable a equal to st dot update query. 
sorry, query execute update. Okay, I will use execute update and in which inside its bracket I will get the variable query. Okay, so it will execute update insert in our database. So now let's make the status equal to true i will tell you the function of it in this tutorial later okay so it is, it is small so now the purpose of the variable status here is whenever the function add user is called the function the status would be false until it goes in the prior block if the prior block is working properly and throwing no exception then it would the status would be true and if there is a problem in the connection on or in the query that is it is not inserting in your database or any other exception showing from here uh, from the prior block that means the prior block it is not working properly so the status would be false but if the prior block is working properly the status would be true i hope you guys understand it so as it is a boolean type function so it should be it should have a return type so Written type is we will return status okay so whether it is true or false now let's run our form and see that is it working or not okay so we cannot come uh, run is in the design view so we will go to the source clean and build it oh sorry we forget to call the function here so we will make an object of our connecting to db class equal to new connecting to db ok so let's see equal to you can see the function here it's ok so let's send the username and the password here in the arguments so now it should Work and save our the user the username and password in the database. So let's run it and see if it's working or not. So as we know that every JFrame form has their own name, so we don't so we do not need to create a name here. And there is a mistake inside our connecting with DB class inside this query. It's not value. It's values. Okay. So correct it. Do not forget to correct it. Okay. Now back to insert form and let's run it. First clean and yeah, clean and build it and now run it. So here you can see your form. I will give my username Sherry123 and the password Shahmeer. Okay. So let's insert it. Now there is no error. Now let's open our database and check that is it working or not. Every time, please refresh or open your database again. So we let say in table two. So here you can see that we have inserted our username and password inside our Excel. So it's a really easy tutorial. I hope you guys understand it. If you have any query, you can email me and do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you so much. Take care.